Happy Friday, everybody. So this video is for uh, Jenny Marcheski. Uh, we're doing a swap um, that is being hosted by Letty, who is My Little Sweet Peas here on YouTube. And she's hosting a swap um, for her birthday. And by the way, Letty, happy birthday. Um, and so she um, picked the swap partners, and Jenny Marcheski is my... Um, not partner, I guess. She's she's the one who's getting my box. I have a different person who's sending me their box. So we were supposed to do a cigar box um, in a shabby chic style, because that is the style that Letty um, likes. And so here's my attempt <laughs> at a cigar box in the shabby chic style. So let me just show you uh, quickly what I did. Um, as you can see, my cigar box is, is kind of... Um, shallow I guess it as most cigar boxes are um, this is made out of wood and you can't see it because I covered it up but what I've done is I painted it I um, gessoed it first and then I went over it with some vanilla acrylic paint and then I used my Tim Holtz distress um, blending tool um, in the dusty concord I think is the color yeah dusty concord and I went over all the edges um, with that blending tool. And um, I also took a napkin that um, Poet Spice, who is Jamie Lola Tulula here, um, Poet Spice gave me some um, napkins as part of a um, winning that I got from doing one of her challenges. And here's the rest of the napkin. This is the only piece of the napkin I have left. There was two of them. And they were perfect for what I wanted to do. Um, so underneath this, the lid of the box, you can actually see um, pretty well the, the butterflies that are in the napkin. And the napkin also had this like vanilla color in it or like this light um, cream color in it. Um, so I jet, I uh, just had the box. I then um, put the napkin on top with Mod Podge. So it gave it a really nice texture, and I don't know if that's coming through here on the video, but it has a really nice texture. And then I um, put this piece of, I don't even know what you call it, it's like uh, textured fibers. They came in a sheet, and I got this at the Scrapbook Expo, and it's purple, but it also has like little like glints of glitter in it. You can see that as I turn it um, on my hand. Um, you can see the little glints. But anyway, um, so that is also on top of the napkin. And the reason I did that was because this um, the paper that I used for the um, Primo doll stamp um, was kind of, you know, it had a pattern too as well as the napkin. So I wanted to kind of make it stand out a little bit. And this paper is from the, I think it's a vintage... Vintage Chic Collection or something like it. It's a DCW, D, huh, DCWV stack. And I actually only used one piece of paper from it. I was going to use more than one, but decided not to. So what I did with the stamp was stamped it three times so that I could make it dimensional. And um, instead of using foam dots, I used the corrugated stack in neutral to back it up to to that to give it a little bit of dimension. So you can see there's three layers. There's the base layer, there's another layer here where the dress is, and then I cut out an additional layer for certain sections of the dress. So she has some dimension as well. And then um, what I've done is um, take some of the foam flowers that Vicki picked up for me in downtown LA. Thank you, Vicki. Um, and put those down here in a bunch at the bottom corner. And I had some Michael's flowers um, from their fabric flowers from the summertime, the Ashland Blooms that went on sale. And these are hydrangeas that were in this um, bunch. So I, I put them down in here because they were cream colored to match this foam flower that's here and here. And I think these are supposed to be magnolias. They kind of look like hibiscus to me, but I think these are supposed to be magnolias even though in reality magnolias are much bigger than this. Um, there's also some leaves that were on the, the foam flower bunch or the, the, the strand 
And then I also put some, um, this is a, um, embellishment that I got from Anna Yanis. It was in her bottle that she gave to me as a thank you. Thank you, Anna. And, um, there's some metal pieces from Recollections, and I think that was also in her bottle, too. There were some pieces of it in here, and I had some in my stash. I also use a button here. Um, this button I got from Peachy Cheap out of a package of buttons, and it also has that purple color. I, I cut out a um, piece, die cut a piece from the Spellbinders die. It's one of those frame dies, and then I distressed the edges, and I used a Tim Holtz um, rub on that comes in a sheet like this. I use this one and there's one that I used that I cut out right here that's on the inside of the box. And so this is a rub on that says imagination. So that is the top of the box. And then the other thing I did was added some, um, crinkled seam binding and I did not dye the seam binding myself. I just used a purple piece that I was, that I purchased um, from an online store. I think it was from Etsy. Okay. And then down here, because the box is so difficult to open, I kind of Mod Podged a little too much on the sides. But because it was so difficult to open, I put a little um, metal bracket here that's actually, uh, let's see, I have an extra one, that looks like this. It's like a drawer pull. But I put it um, underneath the lid so that'll help you to open the box, Jenny. Um, but yeah, so rather than, um, let me see if I can open the box. It's always difficult on camera. Oh, see, that was much easier. So anyway, so here's the um, lid of the box on the inside. I used the nap, the other napkin that I had and let me adjust the camera so you can see it. Um, down in here in the box, I just, uh, again, took the Mod Podge and, um, Put the napkin on the inside as well so now you can see what the pattern was on the napkin and then there's the inside of this little um, drawer pull and it actually says love the journey that's the other rub on that i used and then the inside of the box is just a um, plain vanilla i did not um i painted it with the acrylic paint and um, so that's like a vanilla color and then just the edges are actually distressed with the dusty concord. Here's the sides. Again, I took the same um, piece of paper, the scraps, and I um, cut out sheets to cover most of the sides. I didn't want to actually cover the entire box so I could distress the edges and um, just used it all the way around. Um, nothing special there um, so that you can see. And yeah, so this is my box for Jenny and Jenny I am also including um, some goodies for you but also I made another um, surprise um, for you and let me just move the camera a little bit I made you a charm and I got it hanging from my lamp right now so I'm gonna try and get into it closer for you okay excuse the mess on my desk too by the way <laughs> so it's actually hanging from a little earring thing because this little piece was an earring from Industrial Chic. Most of the metal is from Industrial Chic um, and I put things together so this was on the earring, this bling here um, and then this little I'm sorry, chain right here was also on the earring um, as well and then what I did was added jump rings to add this tag it just says Metal Shop 7758, um, Crown NC Ink. And then I added um, a little pointy bobble here to this. And um, on the back it has some writing. You can see through it. And then I also attached this spool down in here. This is a vintage spool that I have in my stash. I put some lace trim here and I put a button and I created this little hook using some wire and um, I also wrapped some wire around the spool to give it some more definition so this little wire that's wrapped around um, I just kind of played with the wire a little bit and then you can see some of that same purple um, fibers um, around the spool and then on the bottom this little 
label that you're seeing on the uh, spool, this is the original label that was on the spool. And I liked it because it has like a little chain link all the way around. So I just kept it on there. I didn't want to take it off. And then you can see here I've got a big pearl. Um, and this is, of course, um, strung through with the wire that I, um, that I used. And I created a little loop at the bottom and put a um, tiny bead here as well. And then there's a metal piece, again, from Industrial Chic. And then I just added some uh, little tiny cream-colored um, daisies to this metal piece. Uh, in addition to the um, metal charms, I added some purple seam binding again. This is the same seam binding that's on the box, it's just not crinkled. And then I added some um, more trim that uh, Vicki, who is TriHeart67, gave to me in a rack. So beautiful. Thank you, Vicki, again. And then there's some more lace here, and this is the same lace that's on top of the spool. It's just um, that you can see it more. So I will be giving you this, um, this charm as well as some additional goodies in the box. And so if you're watching, Jenny, please um, PM me your mailing address because I don't think I have it yet. Or if, I, if you have already sent it to me, that's fine. I can look for it in my um, inbox. But thanks for watching. And as always, leave a comment below if you have any questions. And I hope everybody has a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.